So it's a very difficult task to change a baby's diaper at really all ages, from a baby to a toddler. And that's because it's uncomfortable for them. They may be doing something else and then you plop them down, you have to hold them down. It's not always a pleasant experience. So the key is to do it very efficiently, quickly, and really take care of everything that's needed so there's no problems afterwards. So with this baby, you would put them down in the diaper area and I always suggest families have exactly what they need ready for them. I have um, diaper wipes here by Baby Gannix. I have diaper cream here by a and All of the brands make their own unique diaper creams and, and pastes. And that's really important when changing a diaper because actually their urine is very acidic. Um, and a diaper rash is not really a rash as much as it's a burn. So every time you want to change a diaper, you want to make sure everything's gone and then there's a nice layer of cream on the baby so it protects them the next time they go to the bathroom. So you have your wiggling, crying baby here. You try to put them in a safe environment that everything is at close range and reach. You undo the baby. If it's a little boy, you try to protect them because sometimes they do pee while you're changing them, so just be mindful of that. Um, then you undo the dirty diaper and really wipe with the baby wipe as much as you can so that there's nothing there. And again, these, these particular wipes have diaper cream infused in them. And again, they're by Baby Gannix. And I like them because for little, little babies, they go to the bathroom often and sometimes they can get very, very raw. So if it is very raw, the best thing to use is either water um, and cotton balls if they have a really bad rash um, or a very soft, damp washcloth or a baby wipe like this one that has soft cream infused in it so it's not irritating the baby's skin. So you would hold the baby's legs up. You want to hold the legs so they don't, you know, get into whatever mess the baby's made and really wipe as much as you can away, throwing the diaper, uh, the wipes here or throwing them away. Um, now, if the baby's had a bowel movement, you never obviously want to use any kind of dirty wipe. You want to fold the wipe over or just use another wipe. You can never use enough diaper wipes. A baby can never be too clean. So I always know parents need to save money on diaper wipes. That's not the place to do so because if the baby does get an infection, that can be a real heartache for them. Little girls can get urinary tract infections. Boys and girls can get yeast infections if not changed properly. So really hold the baby's legs, wipe, wipe, wipe as much as you can. You have to open the legs really Make sure the end result is there's nothing there. Then I usually take another wipe and make sure that's my added perfectly clean diaper.